to Daybreak. Welcome back. I'm here with Regina Brabham from Critical Care for Animal Angels, and our dog of the week today is Tramp. So tell me all about Tramp and what a cool name. He's a cutie, and he was uh, lost. That's how we got him. We never could find the owners, and he'd been hit by a car. So he was actually under a vehicle, you could see on his head, mm -hmm. his ear, his leg, which is healing up really nicely. And he tried to eat me <laughs> when I was trying to get him out from under the car. And then he tried to eat the vets. But once he gets to know you, he is a sweetheart. I just saw him licking you. Yeah, he loves me. And I know he loves car rides. Uh, he does not go to the bathroom in the house. And he wants to be held just like this. If I turn him around, he's going to squirm around to be just like this. <laughs> but yeah, it took a while to get I this. I wish I had a camera. Well, I wish it, did, it did take a while to get this point. So he needs a home with no small children, probably not a lot of company, and a lap, because he loves to sit in your lap. Don't you bet? So a couple or maybe people that someone's home, mm -hmm. you know, one person or the other, right. and then he can kind of connect and hang out with them and love on them. Right, right. I mean, he's a good little guard dog. He, he lets me know people are in, and he, you know, and he's... I haven't introduced him to the other dogs yet, but so far tails are wagging and so far so good. Do you know what kind of dog he is and how old he may be? He's some kind of terrier and I'm estimating about five. And don't terriers have a lot of energy and they normally want to run around and look at everything and make sure everything's safe for people? Yes, most terriers were bred to hunt like rats. Um, so, and they they tend to be a little moody. Mm -hmm. So I think they should call them terriers instead of terriers. <laughs> But, but once they get to know you, they're really awesome. Can you tell us a little bit more about where you found him? Or, I mean, you said maybe you saw him from your car? It's a Peach County um, dog. Someone in Peach County hey, called. It was under their car in okay. their driveway. So um, she stated that a lot of people dump dogs out on their road. And this is a big issue everywhere in um, middle Georgia, but Peach County is become a big issue. We're also having dogs that are being stolen in Peach County. So if you have a dog, take it in. Don't leave it out while you're at work. I'm getting many calls about stolen dogs. Now, when you say you first found him, he was a little combative. Oh, he, yes. So what is it about you? How do you calm dogs and connect with them like this? It's amazing. I don't know. You have to know. There has to be something in your heart that lets these animals know that you love them and care about them. Well, just patience. Um, and sometimes you can't turn them all around. Just a lot of patience and um, I don't know. I just, I think they just know where to, that I'm there to help them. Just, I mean, they got feelings, they get scared. Just try to understand them. But a little bit of patience and they come to me. Not yeah. always, but most of the time, and I get bit a lot. You can see all the scars, and it's mostly these little guys that bite. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in, and Tramp, we wish you all the best. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, Dina. All right, Tramp, we hope you find a forever home.